Hey, welcome to Physics Land. So today let's talk about the Hawking radiation, or should I say, the black hole evaporation. So in 1974, Mr. Stephen Hawking proposed that the black holes radiate some sort of black body radiation and thus evaporate itself, thus kills itself. Well, at a certain time. Basically, the space is not completely filled with vacuum, but has trillions and trillions of particles. So let's draw a black hole to understand it. So what can we say is a black hole is not yet proved to have its shape, but we draw it as the cylindrical spherical shape. The boundary is called as the event of horizon and it is the maximum distance from the black hole from which a particle can go. I mean, the particle can escape. I mean, if we go beyond the event of horizon towards the black hole, the particle just will be unable to escape. So now there are anti-particles anti and particle pairs formed near the event of horizon of the black hole coming from the vacuum. And they form in pairs, particle-anti-particle -particle pairs. So now what we, have to, what we have the concept or what Mr. Stephen Hawking said that particles and the anti-particles gets accumulated near the event of horizon and the particle gets just released, just ejected away from the black hole and the anti-particle, uh, both are hypothetical by the way, both are quite imaginary, but the anti-particle gets towards the black hole, gets absorbed by the black hole. And observer sees the particle release away from the black hole with a positive energy. So the particle gets the positive energy and as the anti-particle is absorbed by the black hole, it gets the negative energy. Now, since there are particles and antiparticles, we can just use the formula of equals to mc square. For the antiparticle, since the energy is negative, the mass also gets negative according to E equals mc squared. The negative mass to the antiparticle as the E is negative and also mc squared should get negative. So minus E equals to minus mc squared. And now, in other words, we can say that as the antiparticles gets negative mass, the antiparticles goes towards the black hole, the black hole loses its mass. The black hole loses its mass as the negative mass is going towards black hole. Think of it the other way. Well, so we can say that so slow and steadily the black hole loses its mass a particle after particle. Since particles have such a, a tiny amount of mass, we can say, the black hole loses all of its mass in a high amount of years. Let's talk about it afterwards. But the black hole simply evaporates itself. The black hole gets evaporated. The black hole is dead. Well, rest in peace. I'm sorry. Provided that the black holes are not girls, let's talk about their age. So the formula for the age of black holes can be like 5120 into gravitational constant square divided by c to the power 4 multiplied by Planck's constant all multiplied by the solar mass cube. Solar mass is a very huge number. Well, the thing becomes solar mass cubes into 1.3 into 10 power minus 17 seconds and solar mass is 1.6 into 10 power 31 kilograms. So the entire answer becomes 1.9 into 10 power 76 seconds, which is the age of black holes. Here we go. And thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.